You are right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of Deploying Dortmund. Now you can see we're in Division 1, we've got one point from our first game and we are going to try and improve on our record a little bit, score some wins and basically get some points on the board so that we stay in the division and potentially challenge for the title. Now I haven't managed to sell anything from the last episode, you can see we've only got 30,000 coins so we're pretty limited to as or pretty limited as to what we can actually do at the moment so um, we're going to have to sort of just play a couple games, see what happens, see if some stuff sells and then move on from there. Now if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins, go and check out fifautonline.com, their link will be down in the description, a fast, cheap and reliable coin service. So we've set up our team for our first game, it actually looks pretty beast, we've got loads of informs, we've got Man of the Match uh, Lewandowski in there, we've got second inform Royce, we've got second inform Blazikowski, second inform Pizchek, oh my god there's just so many informs I can't be bothered to say them all, they're just too many. So we're going into our first game and we come up against a 4-5-1 Spanish slash La Liga team, you can see that it goes sort of like Spanish in the uh, the front three, the CM, CAMs and Torres, they're just Spanish from the BPL, and then he has like um, La Liga going back from there. Now, we managed to take the lead, good cross, good header, good goal. Well done Lewandowski, 15 minutes in, we're 1-0 up, and uh, I really want to see Lewandowski scoring some more goals to be honest, because I don't feel he's scoring enough for his price tag, considering we paid so much for the man of the match version before him, you would have expected him to score absolutely tons, but at the moment we're just sort of like struggling just that little bit. However, he does manage to bag himself a second goal in the 39th minute, good overlapping run from him, good pass from Gundogan, and he caused the guy to rage quit, so we take down a full three points, that's exactly what we're after. So we've got four points from two games, we're looking good, we're going to play another game because still nothing is sold, which is really frustrating. The market has slowed down a lot um, from when I was trading, you know, maybe about a month ago for trading to a million. Uh, that series is now finished, but uh, obviously I was doing trading every day and everything was selling every day, so to have stuff that takes a while to sell is kind of frustrating, but, you know, it's just the way the game is going as the uh, months go on and the game ends, or gets closer to ending anyway, and FIFA 14 comes out soon. So we are now in... Our next game, and we've come up against this guy, he's using a team, I don't know, I think he's using a 4-2-3-1, I didn't really catch it at the start. And we take the lead through Royce, wonderful free kick from him. Um, got taken out on the edge of the box, managed to take the free kick pretty well, straight into the back of the net. However, his team was quite annoying, especially Oliver Giroud, which is something that you should never have to say in a game of FIFA, considering how bad Giroud is. No offence to Arsenal fans, but he was pretty terrible last season, so... Um, you can't really blame me. Anyway, I went a little bit sweaty, tried to tramp him, didn't work, so I tried to tramp him again. And this time it did work, so there's Lewandowski getting his third game and third goal in two games. So well played by him. Uh, he came back into the game, however. You can see here, Oliver Giroud again. Again with the header. And then we managed to concede again. This time it was Koscielny. Really, 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 really really frustrating to lose that game two headers and a corner that we conceded to there we could have probably walked away from with the victory quite easily but it just wasn't to be so i decided to put the game down come back like a couple of hours later and you can see we have now managed to sell four things first off being our second inform royce you may be wondering why the hell have you sold your second inform royce well there is a reason you see that the 200k that i got for him now means that i actually have enough to go and upgrade him so we'll go and do that in a second we've managed to get the carrick sold we managed to sell mickley we sold him for 100k when we bought him for 85 that's a decent amount of profit and here we go man of the match royce time yeah baby let's get this guy in the team he looks absolutely beast look at that orange card sexy or what so he has 93 pace 90 dribbling 90 shooting just absolutely ridiculous stats and he's not even it's, this isn't even his best card he's still got the team of the season version as well so when we pick that up we are going to be balling absolutely annihilating people hopefully so there you go man of the match uh royce goes into the club going to pop him into that left mid position i did go away and buy a 352 card for him as well as a fitness card because someone it's some idiot running down to 69 fitness why would you do that why so we got him up to 99 now, got the 352 player card on him, he's getting full chemistry. There's a couple of uh, chemistry points missing from our team just purely because we're playing Pizjek at right back and I think we've got uh, Guts at right mid as well, so so that's not brilliant. But you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go and give uh, Royce the check mark on the list. There we go, just one man of the match and three team of the seasons to go. Obviously when we sell on the cards we're actually going to have a lot more coins to actually go away and upgrade them. So I wouldn't be too worried about the fact that we've only got 300k because we've still got to sell, you know, our man of the match Lewandowski, our man of the match um, Royce now, also the uh, the informed Gundogan, we can get rid of that to buy his man of the match, also the informed uh, Goetze, he can go, I know that the informed Goetze is going to be, quite, or the team of the season one is going to be quite a bit of a problem, it's like 200k more than um, his inform, as same with uh, 
Same with Gundogan. I think he's going for about 400k, uh, which is like an extra, what, 300k on top of the price of his things. So we may need to do a lot more trading before we can afford them all. But I'm more than willing to do that to get us to the end of this series. And also we'll do a couple of wager matches in the next couple of days. So we are one all at this point. Uh, didn't really see what happened. I know that Lewandowski scored, but uh, we ended up scoring again. I don't know how that one didn't go in. Uh, that was a fantastic shot from Leitner, but Aubameyang was there to pounce on the rebound and the parry to put it into the back of the net and give us a 2-1 lead. However, in the late minutes of the game, Royce went through, scored near post, and I was absolutely seething because I think that I actually managed to give the ball away in a very dangerous position there, and that's why he ended up scoring. So if I'd just been a bit more, a bit safer, played a bit better... I wouldn't have conceded and we would have walked away with a full three points, which would have been ideal, really. But that's not to be. We can go back into the arena. We have managed to sell for Tongan. Only Higuain and Nkulu still to sell. So we're going to go into our final game of the episode. Give Royce another go. See if he can get a goal in this game. And you can see this guy's using... Well, it's a hybrid. It's got Ibarbo and Muriel that link to the AS Monaco version of Falcao, as well as um, the AS Monaco version of Rodriguez as well. So... So quite an interesting team, but we did take the lead. Bitten caught with a fantastic finesse. Perfectly positioned as well. Great control. Good work from him to give us a lead. Then Royce managed to bag his first goal for the club. See there, absolutely banging that one in. I don't know why he hit it so hard. Was he trying to burst the ball? I can't remember what year that commentary line came from. If you remember, um, I think it was Andy Gray that used to say... Um, He's just kicked it so hard. What's he trying to do? Burst the ball? Uh, probably the most lame piece of commentary ever, but I can't remember which FIFA it's from. So if you remember, put it down in the comment section. Now, we are 3-1 at this point. We've got one more goal coming up, and it does go to us. You see here, Blazikowski making all sorts of mistakes. However, he says, hell no. I'm doing some skills. I'm going past some people. Managed to get inside, and then he finesses that one in. Basically, P-rolls it past the goalkeeper, and we take home a full three points because the guy decides to rage quit out and give us the victory so there you go guys that is the end of the episode i hope you have enjoyed it um give a like for the uh, man of the match signing that's awesome to bring another man of the match team in it um making the team look different colors i love it you know we've got some silver players in there we've got some non red golds we've got some you know golds and oh, it's just all these different colors love it but yeah there's my game moment gone so if you could drop the video like that would be really appreciated subscribe if you're not already all of the videos will drop straight into your sub box on your home page if you do that it means that you'll be able to keep up with what i'm doing a lot easier you won't have to go to my channel find the newest videos they'll all just be there follow me on twitter that's a great place to find my videos um, I can't think of any more plugs to do I'm just going to leave it there guys I hope you have enjoyed the video And I will see you all next time